In 206 BC, Cheng Yu held a feast in Hongmen, intending to kill Liu Bong at the banquet. How dare you! The Duke of Pei is King Shang's distinguished guest. The Duke finds it necessary to excuse himself. How can you stop him? Brat! Not worthy to be advised by me! The Duke of Pei will definitely seize power! And that day, we can't expect to be captured by him! In 206 BC, with Han Xin's strategic planning, Liu Bang sent troops to conquer the three former generals of the Qin Dynasty and to compete for supremacy in the Central Plains. Records of the Grand Historian recorded only a few sentences on this war. In the eighth month of the lunar calendar, the King of Han adopted Han Xin's strategy and returned via Chenchang Road but we can learn much more through the biographies of the generals who waged it. Genealogy of the House of Chancellor Chao from the records of the Grand Historian tells us Chao Shen followed Liu Bang to conquer the three former generals of the Qin Dynasty and initially attacked Jiabian, Chen Chong Road, Yong and Tai counties. The biography of Fan Kuai says, when following Liu Bang to conquer the three former generals of the Qin Dynasty, Fan Kuai attacked the army of the deputy county magistrate of Shijian, alone in the north of River Bai. And also the light cavalry led by Chang Han, the king of Yang, in the south of Yang County. He defeated both of them. We're told in the biography of Guan Ying that to conquer the three former generals of the Qin Dynasty, the Han army descended on Dongyang and battled the King of Sai into submission. We need reinforcements here and here. We wait and see their next move. Sire, we've discovered Han soldiers on Ziwu Road. They are marching recklessly towards the valley of Ziwu. Also, on Kishan Road of the Longxi region, we found traces of the Han army. How many troops are on Kishan Road and Ziwu Road? Have you found any on Chen Chang Road? Not so many on Ziwu Road, but lots of standard bearers and drummers. We don't know how many on Kishan Road, and none have been sighted on Chengchang Road so far. They make noise in the east while attacking the West, avoiding the strong to attack the weak. Zhang Ping, you will lead 20,000 troops to garrison at the entrance of Chengcheng Road. The King of Sai will lead 20,000 troops to garrison at the start in Ziwu Road. I will lead 20,000 troops to station at Fei Chu to wait and see. Chen and Fan Kuai have captured the first county at Tishan Road. Guan Ying is engaging in combat with the enemy at Ziru Road. Then shall we march the troops? No, not yet. It is premature. As you anticipated, the number of Han soldiers on Ziwu Road was less than a thousand. They collapsed as soon as we engaged them in battle. On Kishan Road, the Han army has captured Shaban County. 
No Han troops have been spotted on Ching Chan Road, as yet. You bring me good news. And bad. Where will their main forces land? Is it Kishan Road? No. We wait. We should be receiving news from General Cao and Fan very soon. Sire, General in Chief, General Cao and Fan have captured two counties. General Guan was defeated at Ziwu and retreated. It is time, Sire. We march. Han Xin and his king led the Han army, marching from Nanjian of Hanzong to the Chancheng Pass. The King of Sai's troops gained total victory on Ziwu Road. On Kishan Road, the Han army offensive was fierce. Two counties, Xiaben and Xishan, have fallen. That's it. That's their plan. The Han army's main forces are on Kishan Road. Issue my order. Our main forces are marching to the gateway of Kishan Road. We shall teach this Han Xin a lesson or two. Chung Han finally launched his attack. He led a force of 20,000 men straight to Yong County. His plan was to annihilate the Han army's main forces with countless volleys of arrows at the entrance of Qisan Road. Meantime, the Han army's vanguard, led by Guan Ying on Ziwu Road, had retreated many miles when he received the signal to launch a new offensive. The troops returned to Ziwa Road. The Kisan Road was as still as death and an ominous foreboding surged from the depths of Chang Han's heart. Where could the Han army be? Sire, a mass of Han soldiers was found on Qinghai Road. They're met by General Zhang Ping. Ha! It is back to Qinghai Road! But it was too late. By the time Cheng Han arrived at Chen Cheng Road, Cheng Ping's forces had been routed. Fan Kui and Chao Chen's troops merged with Han Xin's main forces to meet Cheng Han. As Han Xin had conjectured, his men were excited to be home, and they fought with hateful savagery and complete abandon. Their foes stood no chance. Cheng Han escaped to Fi Shu with remnants of his army and bolted the city gate. The Han army pursuing them surrounded Fi Shu, which is the modern day Qingping city, Shanxi province. Cheng Han tenaciously defended Fi Chu for 10 months. Then after the city fell, he committed suicide. Gua Ying led several thousand Han soldiers to turn back and to fight the army of the King of Sai at Ziwa Road. 
Lacking combat effectiveness, the Sai army immediately collapsed. The king of Sai, Sima Xin, surrendered. Guan Ying led the Han army to continue their victorious pursuit. And Dong Yi, the king of Chai, followed Sima Xin's lead and surrendered. Yes.